After months of being locked inside, it's good to be out playing football again with your friends, especially for these boys and girls who are just a small number of the 1,600 amputees among Gaza's 2 million people. With just 72 coronavirus infections and one death, the Palestinian territory recently allowed sports clubs and gyms to reopen. And on Tuesday, the players returned to training. The children uh, participating in amputee football, they suffered the same uh, consequences of COVID like everybody else. It is a big change in our lives. Uh, all of a sudden, we cannot uh, get close to our uh, relative friends, uh, handshaking. We need to uh, wear a mask in uh, confined places. And, and this participation in a sport that they can master, that they can be good at, uh, it is very important for the, for the mental health and as well to uh, go back to their normal lives as it was previously at the largest possible extent, of course. The club was founded just two years ago by the International Committee for the Red Cross, or ICRC, and has adult players as well as children. Some have lost limbs after being injured in protests along the Gaza-Israel border, others through work accidents, cancer or birth defects. All benefit from having a place to come and play the sport they love. No one cares about us, but when we resume training, we felt like there is someone who cares. I would like to thank them all for the encouragement. This project rehabilitated us and led me to discover my skills. When I started the training, I felt like I got back my amputated leg. Out on the pitch, it's tough to get back after the coronavirus break. It's been a testing few months. But these children are used to a challenge and happy to be back playing the sport they love. Joanna Gajroska, Al Jazeera.